Well, a settlement has been reached in the lawsuit filed against the Housing Authority of Baltimore City. Several women had claimed that maintenance workers demanded sex in exchange for repairs. 11 News reporter Vanessa Herring is live in downtown Baltimore tonight with more on that agreement. Vanessa. Well, Donna, we don't have any details just yet, and that's because uh, they're not available right now. Under the agreement, both sides agree that they're not going to release the details immediately. However, because this is a class action lawsuit, all of the details will eventually be made public. In a statement, a spokeswoman for the Housing Authority said, quote, the parties have agreed to a settlement in principle subject to approval by HUD and the court, end quote. Attorney Carrie Hansel filed the lawsuit back in September, and at the time, seven female public housing residents were seeking $70 million from the housing department and two maintenance workers. The women claimed the workers demanded sexual favors from them in order to make repairs in their apartments, and those in charge of the public housing department did nothing to stop it. In October, two maintenance men named in the lawsuit were fired. In November, Paul Graziano, the executive director of the Housing Authority, was called before City Council's Judiciary and Legislative Investigations Committee. He announced changes to improve housing conditions, including hiring 50 new maintenance workers. All the while, the number of women included in, in the complaint continued to grow, and the lawsuit was recently granted class action status. And the way a class action proceeds is that notice is given to members of the class, and those members of the class have an opportunity to share in the settlement so that there is justice not just for one but for all. So again, right now, details on this settlement are not yet available, but because this is a class action lawsuit, all of those details will eventually become public. Reporting live in downtown Baltimore, Vanessa Herring, WBAL-TV 11 News.